OBT News starts now with breaking news. Brett Favre is sharing his version of events on the TANF abuse scandal, but it was his statement that he's recently been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease that's catching national attention right now. Here in Mississippi, we're dialed into what he's saying on Capitol Hill about his involvement with the welfare case. He continues to deny any wrongdoing and has not been charged with a crime. Here's what he said to the U.S. House Ways and Means Committee today. It's been a, a rough three to four years. Brett Favre is out from behind the court filings and statements and describing his side of the story of the TANF abuse scandal. The fact that uh, I was branded as a, 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 a person who stole welfare money, uh, that's the lowest of low. And, um, and it couldn't be further from the truth. So I, I don't wish this upon my worst enemy. And, and hopefully, as I said, we can get the money where it needs to go. But don't forget, Favre is a defendant in a civil lawsuit that claims welfare money was improperly spent on projects he supported. That included the University of Southern Mississippi's volleyball arena and a concussion treatment drug. I had no idea what TANF was, had never heard of it. While never calling Nancy New by name, he seemingly referenced Sadly, her and reveals that he was introduced to her by the University of Southern Mississippi. My understanding was it was grants. Some of the committee members ask Favre for his perspective on what should change. We have to educate people on what TANF is. We have to implement guardrails and, and guidelines and be strict on how the money is supposed to be used for a lot of reasons. Most importantly, so those families can get the money that they need in situations like myself or people are in similar situations who are trying to do good and are caught up in a, you know, a, a, quite frankly, a mess. Auditor Shad White sent committee members this letter Monday attempting to refute some of Favre's claims. It includes text messages between Favre and Nancy New referencing state money and keeping it confidential. White also reveals that he's received threats because of the case and alleges that someone working for Favre came to his house to intimidate his wife. Records released from the auditor's office show Favre has not yet repaid the full amount of the demand, including interest. Well, more breaking news now.